even though I'm not seeing anyone anymore, I like to remain marginally okay looking so that I don't have a complete breakdown. So I don't manage to do that every day, especially in this current fun little climate that we're in. Sometimes what happens is I need to do a sort of weekly refresh. Even just in general, there's things that I just don't do every day. What I'm gonna do actually is do the sort of first step and then go work out. <laughs> I'm working on a, a video for next week. I did bar classes, ballet bar classes for about a month. So stay tuned for that. Uh, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> There's a lot of footage to edit. <laughs> anyway, I'm in my last week. So I'm going to do my first step uh, and then go work out and come back. And I'll tell you why in a second. Basically the first thing that I do every week lately, now that I'm trying to get my hair healthier, I have some blonde on the ends left still, is I do a hair mask. And my favorite, favorite, favorite thing to do is put it in and then go work out. So the first thing that I'll do is uh, wet my hair a little bit. So I have changed into my workout clothes because I'm gonna go work out. Really only just wet, I don't know. I keep the mask on the ends and I know the ends is like literally almost everything that comes out of your head except for your roots. I have very fine hair. I have a lot of hair, but I have very fine hair. And so I don't really like to move it up. I'm gonna be using the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Honey. It is very similar to their Don't Despair Repair original mask. So what I do is I put about a quarter sized amount on my hands and I work it into the damp ends and then sort of pull it upward a little bit and I'll put a little bit on my front pieces as well. And then I pull it all up into a tight top knot, secure it with one of these bad boys, which is really the only time I don't use a scrunchie anymore. And then I let it soak for the entire time that I'm working out. I will be back when I'm done. So uh, after workout, I try, I never do this, I try and cleanse my face right away because otherwise I get like little bumps everywhere from sweat and clogged pores and disgustingness. I'm gonna hop in the shower, but there's a few things I do before. So my face is still kind of wet. I'm probably gonna dampen it a little bit more. One of the things that I do, if you've seen my Korean skincare video, like I'll get, I would get more into my cleansing routine and I do in there. If you wanna watch that, then go for it. But I'm just gonna focus on more like specialty treatments for right now. Ooh. So right now I'm going to use the Yerba Mate Resurfacing Energy Face Facial by Youth to the People. This, again, I talked about this in my video. I get a lot of dead skin cells and build up, especially with working out a lot. And so this is an amazing, amazing, amazing product. Like I can't stress this enough. I used to use baking soda. I'm not great for your skin. But really, honestly, nothing worked as well until I found this. I just sort of take a little bit of this, I spread it all over my face. It has to be damp so that the product can move around and not scratch you too much. Scrub it all over, you leave it on for three to five minutes and that sort of helps the chemical exfoliants uh, work their way into your skin and get rid of even more dead skin and clear, uh, clear out your pores. And then I rinse it off and that's it. It's just very easy to use. My one gripe with this product is that it's impossible to get off. I will wash my face for 10 minutes and still when I go to put on toner, I will find little pieces. Sometimes I just do a scrub. Sometimes I like to do a little multi-masking situation. Today I kind of feel like doing that. So I'm gonna use the, this is Grace and Stella. It had another label on it, but I thought it was not cute. And so I took it off. I bought this because I wanted a mud mask that I didn't have to mix, like a clay mask, sorry, that I didn't have to mix. I'm lazy and I don't like that it gets everywhere. But I did find out that you can actually pre-mix the Aztec clay mask, which you can just buy on Amazon. That's like the most amazing one that I've ever used. So I'm just gonna use that when this runs out because honestly, this one has a bit of a perfumey smell and it's not my favorite. So this is what it looks like. I won't double dip. I'll scoop a fair amount of this mask and put it on the back of my hand. I'll use this tool that was a gift, but she bought it on Amazon to spread it around. The end is silicone, which is amazing because it just spreads everything so beautifully. And then I'll just spread it all over, leave it. I'll probably shower with this in and then rinse it off. Sometimes I can't believe that I put this on the internet. So once you look utterly terrifying and you realize your baby hairs are flying everywhere, including into the mask. Normally, I also would probably tint my eyebrows when I'm in the mood. My eyebrows are a little bit lighter than the rest of my hair. And I have a decent amount of hair in there. There's actually some extra mask in there now too. A lot of the hairs are blonde. And so I like to use this. 
it's in my eyebrow house. So if you wanna know how that works, uh, it's really easy. You just put it on, you leave it on, you use a tiny brush to put it on, and this is $14-ish in Canada, and it lasts for like two years. Tinting my eyebrows makes a huge difference for me. Do it, don't do it, totally depends on you. I just don't wanna pay $25 to get my eyebrows tinted and then have them last two weeks. I just did that recently, so I'm not gonna do it today. I'm gonna go shower and then I will be back. I'm actually gonna go shower and then wait for my hair to dry a bit dry my hair, I eat lunch, because I'm starving now, and then come back. So it will seem like no time at all for you, but it will be quite a bit of time for me. So it's been a few hours. I dry my hair and ignore the random little curls. I was trying something with the straightener, which didn't work out. What I'm gonna do is move on. In the shower, I washed off the mask and I did a few things. I'm testing out this little whey scalp and body scrub. Basically, it's a sugar scrub with some extra stuff in it. It smells amazing. I like to do some kind of scalp scrub once a week, if not more. I really like to clean really well, and so I'm using that. I also sometimes honestly just get salt and mix it in with my shampoo, like for the first shampoo, and that works beautifully as well. So I did that. And then I have these things. They are the most amazing things. I wasn't an exfoliating person because I honestly found it super messy. Like I've tried the coffee coffee scrub, the sugar scrub, blah, blah, blah. It just like ends up clogging my drain. It doesn't work very well. Slash when I was tanning, I needed something that didn't add anything. So it didn't have any moisture to it or like oils or whatever. And this, just coating these with like soap and scrubbing the living daylights out of yourself is incredible. So I did that. And then when I got out, I'm using this it's astonishing how fast it's going considering i just bought it like a few weeks ago this is the glossy body hero dry touch oil mist i'm really liking oils at the moment instead of moisturizers i like that they absorb quickly they make you look very like shiny in a nice way like you've sweat a lot recently that's everything i did in the shower and that's where we are now i'm going to uh put some toner on which i should have done hours ago this is the sun and park beauty water i just splash some of this into my hands like I did in the Korean skincare video and uh, pat this onto my face. I love this stuff. It's absolutely incredible. The next thing that I'll do when I'm pampering is I'm going to layer on the serums and then like an oil. What I think I'm going to do is use the Ordinary's Hyaluronic Acid and I will put this all over and just put a few drops. I think I'll use the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. This is a great, great mask. I don't like the smell of it. I think it honestly smells like white glue. I don't really use it as a mask, i.e. I don't rinse it off. I just use it like a thin layer of it as a moisturizer. So I just take a very small amount of this, sort of less than a dime, and just spread this all over underneath an oil sometimes, or just by itself. The last thing I'm gonna take is, this is a rosehip oil. Uh, the one I normally use is by The Ordinary, but I ran out, but I love using Using this as a moisturizer you can also use it in your hair it's just incredible I love this stuff so I just take about three to five drops of this and just press it into the skin I'm going to pop on some of this Tatcha the silk peony eye cream so I just put a little bit this of this underneath the eyes and I just pat it through and I like to go underneath the brow bone as well and sort of into the inner crease so the really bougie thing that I do, and this is the part that I sort of just bring to bed, is this. This is a pink quartz roller. This is for lymphatic drainage, which is a fancy way of saying you have some fluid in your face. This is just to help it drain out. And there's many ways that you can do this. There's so many different videos and like methods and everyone's different. Basically just ways of pushing the fluid out to the edges. And then once you push it all out, you drain it downwards. It's very stress relieving. I would typically go along the hollows of my cheeks and I will do sort of 10 to 15 strokes there. I'll go along the top of my forehead, I'll go along my jawbone, and then I will also use the smaller end and go both underneath my eye and then sometimes below the eyebrow. And then when I'm done, I will take the large part and go from the very top of the forehead in the middle, outwards, down along the edge of the face and down the neck. I also do the neck, depending on the day. We're getting very close to the end. I am gonna pop on some lip balm. I've been loving this Laneige lip sleeping mask. This is just an incredible, like nice thick lip balm. I like that the Laneige one just sort of soaks onto your lips and just kind of chills out there. One of the last things I'm gonna do is I've been trying out this with my hair care journey. I've been trying out this Jisoo Gisoo cami infused hair oil. I'm such a sucker for like good packaging. I've been focusing this on the end 
ends. I don't think of it as like a treatment. I do notice that when I wear it as sort of like a finishing whatever, it makes my ends soft and shiny. I wouldn't consider this like a standalone treatment. It's not a mask. It smells incredible and it makes your hair look incredible. So that's the second last thing. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is um, make myself smell nice. So I have the uh, Body Hero Oil, which is scented. So I've been very into scents right now. I know there's literally almost no one around to smell it. That's fine. I just like to smell nice. I've been using the native deodorants. We all use deodorant. It's fine. These are all natural, paraben-free, aluminum-free. So I'm sort of switching over and in transition. These were a birthday gift from a friend of mine. And they smell so good. This is the buttercream French vanilla. She also got me the blackberry and plum. And then I also have a rose one. Love all of them. I love the buttercream vanilla with the neroli body oil such an incredible combination just gonna i love that like every time i move my arm i just smell like cake oh it's so good last thing perfume again for who i don't know i feel like for years we've all been saying i just do it for me whether that was true or not like now it is like this is this is for me i'm using the chanel chance chance this is the green one they have a few different variations on chance. I've been using this for years. This is my second bottle of this. It's fresh. It's not citrusy. It's not floral. It's somewhere in between. I like to spray it on the top of my head. I know it's not good for your hair because of the alcohol. My fiance is tall. I can't say that word yet. I think it's weird. Anyway, that's everything that I do when I'm crusty uh, to remedy that. I hope you enjoyed this. I put out new videos every Thursday. Please uh, subscribe, comment, like this video. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Bye.